Welcome dancers, welcome to the Pas de Danse and we are doing a ballet level 1-2 class today. So if you don't have your dance attire on, go and put it on. So in a second, pause that vi this video and go put on your ballet tights, your leotard, if you want to put on a skirt, that's fine too. Um, if you have carpet, you might find it more comfortable to use socks. Today I'm using socks. Um, because I find it a little quieter on this floor is a little loud for my voice to be competing with the loud shoes on the uh, on the wood floor. All right, so we're going to start out with our feet stretched out in front, S sitting nice and tall, 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 using our spine and our abdominal muscles to pull up nice and t strong. And we're going to stretch those toes to the floor, and then we're going to flex them for good morning and good night and good morning. Good night. Remember, we're trying to articulate our toes all the way down, all the way up, kind of like your tongue. Your tongue is the strongest muscle in your body, and it articulates with all the little muscles inside, and that's what we're doing with our feet. Ready? Good, good night one more time. Good morning. Here we go. Alternate. One foot, the other foot. One foot, the other foot. Making sure it doesn't go in or out. It's just nice and along the straight line. Good job. All right, let's gather our feet into our butterfly. Butterfly stretch. Put your soles of your feet together and flap your wings. Good job. All right, and now we're gonna think of your earlobe and your shoulder, and you're trying to make as much space as possible between your shoulder and your earlobe. Good, that's nice dancer posture. Okay, we're gonna do some bar work. Now, I know that we have bars in the room, but we're gonna use chairs because that's probably what you're gonna use in your living room or bedroom. So go and get a chair. We're gonna get set up and you go and get your chair. Okay, so did you get your chair? It's okay if you pause the video to go get your chair. All right, we're gonna do a couple exercises at the bar and Using our, remember that our, the side that's closest to the chair or the bar is our supporting side, and this is our working side, our working leg, supporting leg. So we're gonna start with plies, feet in first position. And you remember we've talked about this if you've been in our class, that's heels together and toes away, and you're, you're put, pressing your toes into the ground and enjoying the floor with your feet. You want your feet to feel like they're loving the floor, okay? So our arms are in first in a bra ball position, and we're gonna take a little breath with the music and put one arm on the bar. So we're gonna go demi and stretch and demi and stretch and rise and lower and point close to second. Same thing, demi and stretch. Think of the knees going sideways and stretch and rise and lower and point close to third. Remember third position is right in the middle. So first is here, third is right in here, and fifth is at the end, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna stay, stick to third position. Same thing in third position. Make sure they're equally turned out. Make sure that one leg is not parallel and the other one turned out. Or one leg parallel and the other one turned out. Make sure they're equally turned out. Same thing in third position. Demi stretch, demi stretch, rise lower, Point close to first, then we're gonna paddle the arms nice and big away from the bar, towards the bar, away from the bar. But here's the thing, we don't wanna be doing a hula hoop with the hips, right? We wanna keep them nice and straight while just the arms move. Paddle towards, away, towards little breath. And then we're gonna take our chair and put it on the other side, okay? So instead of facing the back, we're gonna put it on the other side. Okay, let's do it with the music. So standing in first position. Here we go. Where's our music? So a little breath. Here we go. And a demi. And stretch. Demi. And stretch. Rise.
do your right side first. So remembering that we want to have this relationship with, between the floor and our foot. You really want to enjoy the floor. Pretend, you know what, have, if you have a pet, like a cat or a dog, and you pet your cat and your dog and you love it, that's how we want to think of the floor with our feet, okay? Yes, you can write that socks really quickly. So we're going to go, everything we're going to do from first position. So the whole thing with tondus is you want to keep your feet as straight as possible. Um, Ms. Elsie, can you come over here and do a little demonstration for us? So she's going to put her hands on her hips, and I know you're not even going to, I'm going to get you to go in first position. She's going to tondu a la second. Yeah, to the side, to the side. Um, with you. Just stay on the floor. That was grown by mom. Yes, yeah, stay on the floor. Good, and close it. And watch how she, look at that, how beautiful that was. She didn't bend it. Now show us what tondu and close bending your knee right at the end. So tondu as come. See that? That's what everybody wants to do. That's what all the pedestrians want to do. They want to bend their knee at the end. So we are not going to do that. We're going to go back to the bar. We are going to pretend we have Pinocchio legs, okay? So we're trying to keep them straight the whole time. Now, there's, a, there's two ways you can do this. You can keep, Joa, Israel, I'd like you to keep your arm on your hip for this. Nice wide first position. Um, Elsie and I are going to have our arm in second position. So um, the reason why I'm going to have, you have, have your arm on your hip is that I want you to really work on your legs. And we're going to have an extra workout using our arm over here. If you find that your arm is, melt, is kind of wilting throughout the exercise, then just put it on your hip and concentrate on working on your legs. Okay, so we have two degages or two tondus to the front. I'm doing a little fast, then two to the side. And then we have two to the back. It'll be a little slower than this. Okay. Then two to the side. And then we're gonna, sorry, or your arms here, plie and uh, releve, sorry, plie, and stretch, and rise, and lower. Two of those, plie, stretch, rise, lower. And then plie, releve, plie, releve, four times. Four times, and then we're gonna do it all over again. So, the wonderful thing about this is that if you don't get it right now, you can always rewind the video and do it again with us. Okay, so here's the music, standing in first position. To the front and front and side and side to the back to the back keep it nice and straight side and side here we go plie and stretch and rise and look plie and stretch and rise and look plie
Now we're going to what we're going to do with this. This is the very last bar exercise. And if you're in my ballet level two, you already know this exercise, so this is good practice for you. We're going to take our chair, and I want you to face it, um, the back of it, towards the television. So, so not like, so actually, yes, between me and the television, I want you to put your chair. Does that make sense? So not, yes, right? If I was you, I would want it to be like that. Okay, because we're going to turn and face the bar, and that means that we're going to turn our backs to you, and you can turn and face us. Okay, so when you turn your back, turn towards the bar, you're going to be facing us, and you won't be lost, you won't be facing the other direction. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to go over the exercise. We're going to have our, which hand is this? Um, I don't know what hand it would be for you guys, but uh, we're going to be facing this way. Arm prepares to the front. You know what? I'm going to switch spots with you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move you here. Sorry, that's probably really loud. Okay, there we go. So can you actually maybe do you have enough? Let's start. Let's face this way so Israel can follow us and they'll see you can hear me by my verbal cues. Okay, so we prepare the arm. This is from first position. We're going to tendu the ball. We're going to lift the leg and touch and lift the leg and touch and close and rise. And we're going to break facing the bar. So this is, you should be facing us now. Same leg, tendu and lift the leg, tendu and lift the leg, tendu and close, rise and face the new side. So now we're facing that way, right? And tendu, make sure there's lots of space between you and your bar. Tawn you to the front, lift the leg, tawn you, keep the leg straight, lift the leg, tawn you, and close, and rise, face the bar, same leg, tawn you, and lift the leg, tawn you, and lift the leg, tawn you, and close, and face the further side, okay? Let's do it with the music. So our, our right hand is over, I don't know which hand you guys would have, but we're, gonna, we're all going to face this way together, okay? So let's get this music. Here we go. And tongue, lift the leg and touch. Those fingers as far as we can reach, 
and our eyes are going to follow the fingertips all the way down. Lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. Okay, and then we're going to do that again. So, see how we can do with the music? So, first position, here we go. Practicing the carriage of the arms. Quarter bra. Here we go. So, we have one, two, Do you feel that? 
Keeping that back leg nice and straight. Breathe into your calf muscle. Nice big breath. And put them back together. And put the other leg behind. Stretch into that calf, calf muscle. We're almost done our class. So I know this is kind of a ballet mini class. And normally, I probably have lots of corrections, right? When we're all together. But, um, all right, so our last exercise is a little bit creative, a little bit of ballet. So we're gonna walk eight walks, ballet walks. Now, remember with ballet, normally pedestrians walk from heel to toe, right? Normally we walk around heel to toe. So what's, where's your heel? You remember where your heel is? Point to your heel? That's right. But when we're walking in ballet, we want to do the other thing, we want to go from the toe to the heel, right? From the toe to the heel. So backwards or sideways, we always want to start with the toe. Peeling onto the floor, that's exactly how I feel like. Just like I was talking about at the beginning of class, there's this lovely relationship between the floor and the foot. And you actually kind of want to feel like you're saying, I love you to the floor with your foot, okay? So that's, you're just kind of peeling it, peeling it onto the floor. Okay, so eight walks like that. And then we have eight carves. So that's eight counts of carves. So carve is with the arms. So when I think of carving, I think of carving through the air, right? So you could carve one, two, three, four, or you could carve, 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 right? A whole bunch of different carves. And then turn, make a shape, and turn, make a shape. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to try to find the music that I'm thinking of for this. There's PJ's, PJ's list. Okay. I think this is the one I've got to use. 